Thank you Veteran, so much for joining us. Thank international you. International superstar. Yes, yes oh, tonight crazy. in Brooklyn. And you know how much I love <laughs> statues. He has one of those. Oh, too. we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Tonight in Brooklyn, we have the debut of a kid from Coney Island, a documentary That's about so you. Yes. What can fans expect in this project? Honesty, love, truth, mm. you know, the real, the reality of everything that went on, giving people that insight and that. That aha, like, ah, oh, that was going on. That happened 20 years ago. You had me thinking that. Mm. You know, we give 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 an opportunity for people to see that. They see the growth. They see all of the different things that have gone on over my 22 years of playing basketball. Plus, you know, it's being spoken and talked about from my family and from people who know me. So, um, it's good. It's, it's a really positive thing that people are getting this opportunity to see. I've been gone for the last 10 years, building something someplace else, <clears throat> and then having an the opportunity to come back to America and to, to, to let people know my love never changed. It never went It never went anywhere. I mean, it was you who was acting like how you was acting. Me, I never, I never did anything, but I knew it was okay, so it's all right you know, for what you said or what happened. But we still could talk about it, though. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I appreciate how you reinvented yourself. Can you talk about, like, your transition from being an NBA player to playing internationally and really blowing up in a different way that we hadn't seen a former NBA All-Star do? I just trust God, and I thank God for, you know, keeping my mind on that path and doing what it was that I love. You know, when people, can, people say things over and over and a lot of people said at the same time some people can listen to that and hear that and then they stop you know I was in a space where my dad died and when that happened I wanted to stop because of that and to continue to go play basketball in China and all of the different things that have happened I, I tell people I'm like man you know if I told you that I was gonna go to China and all of these different things were gonna happen and I had this dream. People would be like, oh, you crazy, you bugging, you bugging. You're violent. Yeah. Mm. You know, so now being able to talk about that and you know, give people the 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 the, the idea of something different happening someplace else, it's amazing. It's 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 so so much bigger than basketball and the, the, the growth and the development and learning another culture, learning another life. You know, and then being able to, to come back home and share that with other people was like you went on a retreat and then you came back from off of the retreat and then now all the little kids asking like, oh, what's up, what happened? And I'm like, a kid from Coney Island, check it out, watch it. You'll see, you'll, you'll learn a little bit about it. That's wow. dope. So so many players have gone to China and played, but no player has been accepted and celebrated by the Chinese people like you have. What was it like just to be embraced by another culture so far away? The Chinese people I love. You know, when I landed in China, I was flying there 13 hours. I thought I was gonna die. Like, like man, I can't believe I'm flying all the way over to another place. I'm, I feel like I'm going crazy right now. And I was depressed. I, I, I didn't have a team to play on in the NBA. People were saying that I couldn't play basketball no more. I had all of these things going on. And then I land to like 5,000 people with smiles going crazy. I'm like, hold up. That's love. I'm like, <laughs> my face was like, I was like, all of these people, they, they here for you. I was like, nah. <laughs> I just now left them wide. Nah, I ain't going down. Like, right. There's no way people right. like this are feeling like this right. about wow. me on earth so when i got there and i got that love and i was like yo this is crazy if you see me i was like in a like another like i was trapped <laughs> mm -hmm. but i was trapped where it was nothing but positivity and nothing but love so i was like wow this is crazy so i mean the rest is history i mean staying there and playing basketball there you know when they told me they was going to immortal, immortalize me i was like go back to where <laughs> right. This is home. <laughs> this is home. Home is where the statue is. Go back to it. Like, nah, I got love for America forever. I'm from there. But it was like, oh, you can make so much more money. I'm like, you know what? I got my peace, man. Mm. I was like, I got my peace. I was like, I don't care how much money I can make. I was like, what these people did for me and showed the love that they showed for me, I needed that. I didn't, I needed it. Like my mother says, some things you want and there's some things that you need. Mm. And I needed that. I needed that and they needed me, as my mom was saying. She was like, that's why I work. That's and, why I work for you. And, and you deserved it. Congratulations, you, you deserved it. That. Kevin Durant is a producer on the doc. Mm -hmm. Shout out to KD. Love. Do you feel like 
he and Kyrie can make New York a Nets town. I think what they're going to do is they're going to turn Brooklyn out. They're going to turn it out. We got the guy to know. Talk to me still. (laughs) Turn Brooklyn out. Once they get on the dance floor and they start dancing and they start playing, I just want them to come back healthy. That's what I want them to do. Forget about everything else. Just lock in. Focus on taking care of your body the way how it's supposed to be. And then now they can create what Brooklyn deserves. They could give Brooklyn a real identity like the Dodgers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like the Brooklyn Dodgers. Mm-hmm. They can like flip that and make that into that because they both got the persona for basketball mm-hmm. for it. They both got the swag. They got they they got the game. They got the lingo. They're articulate. They're smart. Mm-hmm. They're aware. They're conscious. Mm-hmm. You know, they they trying they're trying to help. They're trying to create change on the earth. So when you got these two type of guys that are playing, it's just now they got to formulate. They got to get other people to buy into that mm-hmm. whole system of what it is that they want to do and to put Brooklyn on a map, like, on a map. Because it ain't. It, it, it's going to be completely different watching them two dudes play on the court, you know, in New York City and not recognize that and look at that and be like, I want to go feel that feeling inside uh-huh. there. I want to go watch that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's going to challenge the Knicks into making sure that they make different decisions in how they feel. Because if Brooklyn wins a championship before New York wins a championship, mm. Mm, it's going to be a big swing vote. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.